Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a thrift flip, which I'm super excited for. I got this polo about a month ago at a thrift store, and it's just this like forest green, I guess, long sleeve, men's extra extra large. Um, it's really giant, but I'm hopefully going to be turning it into a crop top and a skirt or shorts maybe depending on which one we have fabric for so hopefully that will work i'm very excited i've been wanting to do one of these for a long time so i found the perfect shirt um my mom's gonna be helping me out so i think first i'm gonna try it on and just measure where we're gonna want to crop it and then we'll crop it and then see what um kind of thing we're gonna be able to make uh, hopefully i'll be able to make a scrunchie too i'm not sure but let's go try it on and we'll see what we're going to be able to make with it. So here's what the shirt looks like on. I have to go way far back because it's super long. So I'm thinking about cropping it like about here-ish because that's how long the crop top I have on now is. I don't know, the sleeves are a little long too, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. But we'll see. So let's mark it off and then crop it. So I decided that I think I want to crop my shirt about here because then I'll roll it and then put elastic in the channel. So it'll end up being like probably about this short. I'm not quite sure there's going to be enough fabric for a skirt, but I'd rather just have a nice shirt anyway. Um, and then if we have extra fabric and we can't make a skirt, then I'll just make some scrunchies. So I'm going to crop it and then we'll just see what kind of fabric we have to work with. It took like three tries, but I was finally able to get the serger working with some help of my mom. Um, and so I sewed the edge with the serger without the cutter on. I was just very careful to stay straight. And then I rolled over the edge just so it had enough space for the um, elastic to go through. So now there's a channel and I'm going to work on seeing if my skirt piece is big enough. I'm not sure it's going to be. It looks pretty short. Um, but if not, I'll just make scrunchies, so it'll be okay. But just wanted to show you what I've been doing here. Um, and yeah, so then after that, I think I'll put the elastic through the channel. So yeah. So here's what the shirt looks like so far. I think it's turning out pretty cute. It is a bit tight on the sides when I lift up my arms because the sleeves are so wide. Um, and the sleeves are still a bit long. I don't know what to do about that. Probably just leave it. But I think it looks really good. This is just the extra elastic. I put the elastic through the channel and then pinned it. So I'm trying to decide how tight I want it. And I think this seems pretty good because it was easy to get on but it's still staying. So... Yeah, I think I will have to cut the elastic and then sew that and then fix the channel and I will probably make scrunchies now. I'm trying to decide if I want scrunchies or if I want to like look on Pinterest and try to find something else that I can make, but I don't know, so I'll probably just make scrunchies and maybe if I do this again, then I can make a skirt with it, so yeah, let's get sewing. So I actually ended up finishing this because it was getting pretty tedious filming it. So I kind of didn't want to make it super boring. So I'm going to explain everything that I did. But here's the shirt and I actually was able to make a skirt. Um, so what I did was I had a big long piece that came off of the bottom of the shirt. And I cut off the side of it. And I kept the little slit in the bottom of the skirt as the one that was on the bottom of the shirt um, and then I sewed it together after measuring and making sure it was like big enough around and everything then I took that piece and cut it um, each side into two pieces and then I sewed it into a tube to make the elastic on the top of the skirt and then I put the elastic through and then sewed that on um, by hand so that took a long time that would not have been fun to watch. I apologize if you wanted to watch it. Um, and I also put the elastic through the tube of the shirt as you saw and finished that off. 
So, um, the sleeves are a little big on me, but other than that, I think this turned out pretty well, so let's get a better view. So, it did turn out pretty long, which I like. It's not, like, super long. I might have liked it to be, like, you know, a little bit longer if I had a choice, but I did run out of fabric, so. But, I think it's cute, so let me know what you guys think. Um, let's get a little mirror action also. Okay, I think this turned out like surprisingly well. Um, I don't think I would have bought it if I saw it in this store. I might have bought the skirt, probably not the top, because like when I pull my arms out, the elastic lifts up, but that's kind of just the nature of having big and baggy sleeves. But I do think it's really cute for what it is. It was like probably $3 at the thrift store. Um, men's extra extra large, so the fact that we can make it fit me it's pretty sweet, so make sure to look out for pictures in this on my Instagram at Rosie Revolts. Um, follow all my social medias at Rosie Revolts. Go to my Etsy shop to buy one of the custom necklaces that I'm normally wearing, um, and check out my book at getoutdoorsbook.com. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye!